Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. This is a knife that has a secret. Let me explain. I hope you're having a great and wonderful and fantastic day today. I hope it is sun shining in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, what can I say? I mean, I, I tend to be a little overly happy, but that's just the way I am. Some people can't stand it, but sorry, what you see is what you get, or what you hear is what you get, unless you come every Friday night, Bees Bleeds, live at the Hive. Oh, right, we have a four-hour live stream every Friday night. If you're subscribed and you hit the notification button, you'll get a notification a half an hour before the live stream. And by the way, we give away knives just like this. Oh, yeah, you see it, you see it. We give away knives just like this. Sometimes more expensive, sometimes sometimes less. That's not the reason for the live stream, but come and check us out. Do a little lurk and you'll find out that it's just good, clean fun. We're family friendly. We don't cuss. We don't talk about politics or religion. It's the place on Friday night where you can flip and flick your knives and we talk about snacks and everything else and knives like this. This is the Remet Kingfisher. Would you look at it? Just look at it in all of its kingfisherness. It is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Beautiful titanium, and it is that frame lock. Look at that. Wow. Some folks do, and some folks don't like flame anodized titanium. This is titanium. And the pocket clip is titanium. Flame anode. This is a milled titanium clip. It is beautiful. And this is a back spacer, and it, it is also a, uh, what do you call that? A lanyard hole. And this is a tool that we're gonna take out here in just a minute. Yeah, it's a little teaser. We're gonna take this tool out and you can use that tool on this. This is a captive pivot, pivot, and it has caged ceramic ball bearings on the inside of that pivot. But look at this side. Oh yeah, would you look at that? The tool will fit this in case your pivot gets loose or you're taking your knife apart or something to that effect. And then looking up here, here's a look at our jimping. Not really much jimping to be said. There's just a couple dick a dick, just a couple jimps. They're mildly aggressive. I would call medium aggression. We'll see how that works here in just a second. But wow, it is a gorgeous knife. By the way, Remet knives, they are up and coming. And what they are doing is they listen to the knife community. And when we say, hey, we would like this, we would like that, or we would like this change, they do it like almost instantaneously and here's i'm trying to give you a good look at these upside down triangle pyramid thumb studs which look very nice very nice i think i'm going to use the thumb stud you ready oh my goodness yes look at this blade this is one of my favorite blade chips i have a knife from another company that has a very similar blade shape to this and I had a lot of comments. People were like, what in the world is that thing? Why would I want a blade shape like that? I'm telling you, it is so extremely useful. Let me get uh, something to wipe this off. Well, I'll just use the uh, the cloth that came with it. It is such a useful blade shape. Oh boy, that is, <laughs> that is sharp. Because it this right here, it's like a, an elongated tanto blade, if you will. And you have a secondary point back here. So this is a kind of recurvish. And that helps grab something. So if you're wanting to grab and you're holding it in a hammer grip like this and you're wanting to grab, it's going to draw things into the center for cutting. Whereas this, you're going to do, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, I'm just going to jump all around because this is fun. This is, this is already a fun knife and I haven't even got to the little secret doodad back here. Look at this. All This landing pad, wow, that makes it very nice. I just transitioned into ergonomics because those ergos Wow. Okay. Remet, you are kicking some serious tail here. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you right now, this is M390 blade steel. Here's a look at this and it kind of have, they call it an opalescent, I believe is what they call it. Finish. It is a beautiful finish. Wow. There's that side. Here's a look at this side. Not a bunch of big branding or billboarding. They do have their name, but it's respectfully small up here on the flat and it has a nice looking swedge up top. There's a look at your tip. Everybody wants a strong tip, right? And then let's keep going on the tour. You have just a little bit of room there before you get to the plunge grind. And let's see what our lockup looks like. The lockup is right where you want it to be. It's right in the middle. And oh man, oh man, this thing is smooth. And oh yes, the flipper. Oh, and it is, wow. That is, this is a premium knife, plain and simple. This is a premium knife. It is drop, oh my gosh. It's just, it has that hydraulic feel, like it's a controlled drop. 
Wow. Let me, I, you know, I'm jumping all around. What the heck? Here's some acoustics. Very, very nice. And here's a look at your pass through. There's plenty of room there and it's not hard to get my thumb in. There's just the plenty of around, amount of room. I'm not having to dedicate my thumb very hard or really squish it or squeeze it in there. It is El Perfecto and it does have a steel lock bar insert so you won't get the lock up on there that you don't want. And wow, this is, wow, this is, <laughs> This is very, very nice. Now, giving you a couple numbers, this bad boy from tip to tip is 8.1 inches long. It's 3.53 inches of blade, of sharpened blade length. Can you believe that? Now, your clothes length is 4.84 inches, and then your usable handle, that means from right here all the way back to here, that's usable, you could actually get your hand on, is 3.74 inches. So, it's almost, it's a quarter inch shy of four inch handle. And the weight on this for this much knife, 4.4 ounces, 124 grams for this knife. And wow, it is, it is gorgeous. Let me give you a couple quick size comparisons. First up, we'll show you this bad boy because so many people have one. This is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. I'm pretty sure it's the same size as the Civivi Elementum. And this, of course, is the QSP Penguin. Everybody should have a penguin, right? So yeah, this is a, uh, a regular size knife. These are called medium. This would I would call more in the regular size. And then here is one that everyone's familiar with. You've either, either seen it a thousand times or you have one or two or three. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And then here is the Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight. That give you any, any indication, any idea? And by the way, this is uh, one of my favorites. I, I have a couple of these. Someday I shall get even another. I love the Manix 2. But let me, <laughs> let me not squirrel. Let me not digress. And since I have this one in my pocket, uh, this is one of my other carries. The, here's the Wii Equivoc. Love this knife and it's a full size knife. Fits my hand like a glove. So there are a couple size comparisons for you. Now, all in all, what do I think about this thing? Well, first of all, I think it's very cool that Remet is coming out with such nice knives. They have high quality knives and then you can also get you a Rhino. They have a they have the Rhino, they have the budget line, and then they have this. Remet, I, I'm just telling you, watch out for them. They are doing everything right. Now, the thumb studs on this thing, I really am digging it. Sometimes I wonder when I get a different thumb stud, but as far as the action and deployment, everything works very well. It has a good detent. And man, I wonder if I can reverse flick this. I don't know if I can't. Oh, yes. Sometimes I'm not able to reverse flick when I have a frame lock like this and the thud studs this close, but because it's angled, it gives me plenty of area. My, my finger just falls right behind there. And that is one of the easiest reverse flicks on a thumb stud ever. I mean, ever. So if you, if you have some that you really like to use your thumb stud to reverse flick on, but you have to worry about make sure, making sure you get proper placement with your middle finger, this one is by far in the top five easiest thumb stud knives to reverse flick. Wow, okay. So <laughs> this one just moved up even farther in my book just because of that right there. If you're a reverse flicker or you like to flick your knives and flick your bick, then you're gonna be able to fidget with this and enjoy the feel and the sound and the smoothness. And oh, anyway, getting back to it, I have a $30 discount code that Remet gave me off of this knife. I'll have it in the description and in the comment section. If you wanna go check it out and you want it, 30 bucks off, Remet was on the live stream. They often do come to the live streams just to hang out with the knife community. And they gave us all that code and so a couple people got in on this early. I hadn't even unboxed it yet. They got in on it to check it out. And they, there were a couple people that already got one and they, they said, yep, it's a $30 code and they used it. They already got one. So I know the code works. So let me know what you think about the Remet Kingfisher. And you'll want to stay tuned to Bees Blades because the next knife coming out from Remet, that one, I'll probably be uh, releasing that video within the next week. And that one is, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to wrap it up. Okay, here's a look at this tool. <laughs> typical, typical. So let's see, uh, I think you push up back here. Okay, you push up like that. Now notice I have the knife open. I'm gonna tell you why here in just a second. I pushed up and then let's see, you push and pull it out. And you can see in here, I believe those are probably magnets, but see that hook right there? They don't hook on this beat. 
you have to push this down. Uh, let's see, it's gonna end up like that. Yeah, you have to push this down and hook it around the stop pin back there and then push it in. But when you go like this, if you look here, you're gonna be pushing down into there and you don't want this blade shut because if you if it's shut, I don't know if you can see it in there, but if you go and try to take this off with the blade in it, you're liable to jam this right onto your edge and put a dent in your edge. So I would recommend carefully doing what I just did, holding the knife like this and pulling it out that way. But this basically is just a, a glorified, super nice, very nice looking, oh wow, that is cool. Very nice, I like the million on that. It's just a very fancy, um, oh, okay. So this fits in there very, very tightly. There's no wiggle room at all. It fits in that pivot very nicely. So when you go to take this apart to clean it or something, and look at this, look at this, I just noticed this. Besides the pivot, there are no screws visible on this side, on the lock bar side. And how about this side? Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm getting ready to end the video and we just discovered that. There's no screws. Look at that. So there's one screw to take this apart and it comes with, okay, I was thinking, well, it's gonna come with that, but you're still gonna need T8s and all that stuff. Well, apparently that right there is the only thing that you're gonna need to get this knife apart because everything else is gonna be from the inside. Wow, that is very, very cool. Holy moly, what the heck? So yeah, it looks like you're gonna use uh, T8s or T6s on the inside just like you would in a typical knife taking it apart. But man, okay, so to get the, to, 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 oh my gosh, I, I'm just blown away by this. So that goes right back in, went back in very easily. I just realized how much cleaner this knife is to me now that I know that there are no external screws other than one pivot screw, and that is that is a very, very cool feature. Wow, that is, okay, anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think about this. This thing is mega, mega sweet. I'm gonna be carrying this because this blade shape, it's one, it's one of my favorites. The, the blade shapes that a lot of people think are ugly actually have a very good purpose. And when you carry them, you're like, oh my gosh, I like this better than I like my other favorite. So let me know what you think about the new Remet Kingfisher. I like it. I like it a lot. Now go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or right after you hit the thumbs up button to like this video, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.